Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ed with edhard.me and in this fourth and final uh, video in my series on how to learn SketchUp the practical way by actually making something, we've gotten our farmhouse table all built and so now I'm going to show you how I uh, make myself a materials list and cut list that I can take over to the hardware store when I'm actually buying lumber and then I can figure out exactly what lumber to buy and then how to cut it once I get done. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up a new SketchUp document and I'm going to go back over to my first one and I'm essentially going to take it apart and stack it up on the other document. So um, I've got it all unexploded so each one of my pieces I can uh, grab separately and the next step is to uh, come over to my um, existing document and grab them and paste them. Then I also want to draw some standard size lumber. And I know that, uh, that generally uh, two by fours, two by sixes, and two by eights, um, and even two by twos, which I use in this model, are all, uh, they all come in generally uh, eight foot lengths, 10 foot lengths, and longer. So I'm going to go ahead and draw myself a, a couple of standard uh, sizes. So I'm going to first start out with a, uh, a Let's see, I'll work my way down from the biggest to the smallest. So I'll start with uh, some 2 by 8s which are actually 7 and 1 quarter, because remember actual versus nominal sizes, by 96 inches. And that's an 8 foot. If I need a 10 foot, I can just drag it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to create that. It's 1 and 1 half uh, inches. I'll triple click it turn it into a group. Now I'm going to draw myself a 2 by 2 by 6. Um, let's see, I want to go, come on, work with me. And I want to do a, a, a 96 by uh, 5 and a half. That's a 2 by 6. Take my push-pull tool and go up and make that 1 and 1 half triple click it and turn it into a group. I'm going to just move it to the side a little bit here. I know I'm going to need um, several of those and then I'm going to grab my push-pull tool and make some 2 by 4s and my battery is low. Alright, fix that battery problem. So now I'm going to draw some 2 by 4 squares. So these are also going to be 96 by uh, three and one half inches. And I will triple click that, make that into a group, and drag that off. And I know I'm going to need a few of these also. So the other thing I like to do with my uh, materials list is I like to be able to distinguish it from my cut list by coloring it in. So I'm just going to color each one of those and then I also know I need a 2 by 2 so I'm gonna do the same thing here and this is 96 inches by 1 and 1 half one and one half triple click make into a group color it wood and move it to the side Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make myself uh, several of these by just copying and pasting. Not sure how many I'm going to need. Make myself several of these. Oops. Copy and paste. Let's say I'll need about five of those, and I'll probably need uh, several of these two. Let's move that over. Copy, paste. Scroll out just a little bit here. Paste. Okay, now the, uh, the rest of it gets a little bit tedious, uh, but this is how I do it. I start by highlighting 
my pieces and cutting them away and pasting them into the new model. So that's my 2x8. I need to spin it around. So I'll just use my rotate tool and do that. And I know I have two of these and they're exactly the same size, so I can just copy and paste that right there. Okay, so I really only need an 8 foot 2x8. And I can jump over now and delete that one because I've copied it over. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these guys. So let's see, I'll cut one, jump over here and paste it. And it looks like that's not going to be long enough to, uh, it's, it's going to be too long if I grab another one and paste it uh, down here on the end. So let's spin around and look at what we got here. So here's what I want to try to do. These are eight foot long two by sixes. And let's say I go up to a 10 foot long. Or actually, all I have to really do is measure. And I'll grab my measuring tool. And I'll measure the entire length. And that is 115 inches. I know a 10 foot is 120 inches. And so I can just, instead of buying these two by, uh, or these eight foot two by sixes, I can buy 10 foot two by sixes. So I want to just change my model to uh, reflect that. And I know that a eight foot is 96 inches and a 10 foot is 120 inches. And so that means I need to extend the length of this 24 inches. So I'm going to explode that. I'm going to take my push-pull tool, grab that face, and come out another 24 inches. And triple-click it and turn it back into a group. So let's turn that, flip that back around how I had it originally. And we've got one, two, three, four, five more to go. So that's two two, four, and uh, so let's just do this. Delete, delete, and grab, grab that guy, that guy, that guy. Copy, paste, another paste. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and now I can delete one, two, three, four, and I'll have one remaining. Copy, paste, and I don't need a 10 foot, so I can get away with an 8 foot because it's a little bit cheaper. So now I have uh, my cut list there, and the next thing I need to do is start copying over my 2x4. So I'll start with the, uh, the longest to shortest, and I think actually these that go around the two ends are the longest, so I can cut that. Let's see. Cut that, move over here and paste it, and use my rotate tool, and I know I have two of these, so I'll put one there, and then I can delete the other one, and then I know I have one of these, so I'll take that, and I think you're probably getting the gist of it, right? So. Uh, so now the, uh, the remainder involves just going and grabbing individual pieces and cutting and pasting. So rather than, I'll make you sit through, oops, through this one. Degrees, move that back in place. And I know I have two of these, so I'll copy and paste. And I 
of duplicated that. So I'll just simply go through and grab each one of the rest of these and uh, finish just building out my model. Okay, so now I've got all of my boards uh, copied over and put on this diagram. All I, want, all I really want to do now is, uh, is just sort of group everything together so it's easy to move around. And I'll show you the last little thing I do to put my finishing touches on it. So first let me just sort of grab, if I can... grab and move everything just a little bit so so it's workable because the last thing I want to do is measure everything out so that I can just print out the plan and make it uh, easy to easy to work with so now that I have my cut list, I can see what exactly what I need. Uh, I need one eight foot two by uh, was that two by eight? I need three ten foot two by sixes and eight foot two by eight. I need one two three four five six two uh, six six foot two by fours two, three, four, and five six foot two by twos for the entire table. The last thing I'll do is just go up by and and use my measuring uh, tool to measure my cuts and I can do this uh, in a number of different places I won't go through and, and do it all because you certainly get the gist on how to uh, how to do that but boy that's a really helpful thing to do when you want to uh, just have your cut list and your materials list in one place so that's how I go from start to finish uh, build the table and then create the materials list and the cut list put it all in one document so that I can save it add measurements and make it easy when I go to the store and I buy my lumber so I hope this this was helpful I hope you can use SketchUp to build your own models if you want to ask me any questions post a YouTube comment or head on over to edhart.me go to the farmhouse table plan post where you can not only download this model but you can make comments and you can see a lot of other cool things that I've got out there so thanks and uh, let me know if you have any questions